we're gonna look at the Deluxe 2.0 here. The Odroid XU4 hardware. I'm gonna just do a quick new user guide, go over some of the easy stuff that, I mean, everything in here is very user friendly, but might be easier to know where things are. So we're gonna start with going to the options area. We're gonna go straight to the Wi-Fi. First thing you might want to do is connect to the Wi-Fi if that's how you want to use your device. If you don't want to connect it to the Wi-Fi, you don't need to to use the games. So in the Wi-Fi, you can edit the connection. Uh, under the Wi-Fi, you can find the connections there. I already have it connected. When you refresh it, they'll be there. You're gonna to need to put a keyboard in to type in the password. Uh, also under Retro Arena, which is the options area, we can find the IP address. This would be the main reason that you would want to connect to the Wi-Fi if you want to add or change games. Uh, so coming back over here, this is going to be a different IP than you originally saw. I restarted the system since then, but uh, we're on a computer that is connected to the same Wi-Fi as the system. You're going to enter the IP address that you just saw in the options right here on the right hand side in any folder and from there you can access the games, the ROMs. Uh, on the left hand side is going to be just a bunch of ROMs that I already have on the PC. I can move, I'm going to delete one and just put it back on there, but if you want to add games to the PlayStation library, any of the libraries that aren't complete, a uh, very easy way to do that, get the IP address that we just did, uh, put two dashes in front of the uh, uh, folder there, and then type in the IP address that you saw, and you'll have access to these ROMs folders. Uh, you can also put the BIOS in here, change the splash screen, both of those are already done for you, so you don't need to really mess with that. That's pretty much it there. So we're going to head back over here to the device, change the themes. We're not going to actually change any. I really like the theme that's already on here, um, but you can change the themes from this menu. Uh, there actually are a couple different theme menu you can use to change uh, pretty cool different ones here rick and morty style all that cool stuff so uh, under hursty and es themes both of those all right so real quick we're going to go over the bluetooth the menus here uh, you're going to need a device a uh, bluetooth adapter they're nine dollars on amazon we also have them on our site uh, around the same price um, very easy to configure once you have the bluetooth device plugged in uh, make sure you restart the device the system once you have uh, the little bluetooth dongle plugged into the usb port uh, when you turn it back on then you go to the bluetooth menu we just went to uh, after you have a controller connected via bluetooth or just your regular controller might not be working very well uh, you're going to go to the configure menu like you see here uh, i'm not going to go over each individual button but you're going to map the buttons as they match on the screen and that's just by pressing start to get to that menu start configure input all right we're going to go over some of the hotkeys in game here uh, once you have configured the controller you set a hotkey uh, activator button basically uh, that button by default will be select if you don't choose any. That's what I find easiest. So we're going to leave it as the, the bottom uh, option, uh, unchosen, which will default it to the select button. And with that select button, we can press the top left button, and that will save the current state. Uh, save states are similar to saving a game, except you don't have to go to the game's menu to get to your save state. So once I'm in the game, I can press select in the left button and that'll save the state and I can bring it back to that exact moment anytime I come back to the game. You get three save states per game, uh, as many save states on the system as you know memory will allow, which is a very, very large amount, more than you'll ever use. Uh, so we're going to save somewhere here and then we're going to press select and the right button to load back to that save point. There's the save spot. We loaded back to it there. You saw it glitch for a second. We're gonna let it go a little bit ahead. Great game, Silent Hill. Uh, so right back to there from the start menu. We're going into normal. We can press it again if we wanted to. Uh, don't need to do it anymore. So start and select will bring us back to the main menu. You have to press it twice, I think. That's pretty much it.